Good day YouTube. Today I have a quick video for you. It's lunchtime. I know it's not a great location. I'm in my car, but hopefully the topic is going to help you out. Carlos wanted to know if I could discuss relationships while in the military. And I know he's been in the military before, but he's out right now. So with relationships, you are going to come across a lot of people. Let's just begin with your team at work. You may like them, you may not, but you're gonna to work together and hopefully get the mission done. At the same time, you're gonna come across some great friends throughout your military career, whether it's four years or more than that. And it's going to come time when your friends or yourself are going to move. That's part of the military lifestyle. And in most cases, you will not be scheduled, uh, what is it, stationed together, in most cases. I've had a few friends, really good friends, and we've actually been stationed in two different locations and then three with another one. And the odds are against us that happening, but we got lucky. More importantly for this video is, what about the relationship that you may have with your significant other, that boyfriend, girlfriend, or future husband or wife, or maybe what does your wife or husband think about you being in the military? That is a big thing and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So part of the military lifestyle, if you're active duty, is you will have to move every few years. That could be every three or four years. That's part of the lifestyle. And that's something that you should know knowing up front. So you may be in one location for a, a certain number of years. You're going to meet someone if you're single or your husband and wife is going to be there with you. And then it's going to come for you to move. How do you feel about that? You may like it, but how does your significant other feel about that? Now, when I joined the Air Force, I knew that I was at a position in my life where I needed to do something with my life. And I had this friend who's now my wife, and I went and signed up. I knew her, but we weren't boyfriend, girlfriend, and I knew that I was leaving for the Air Force. I thought I was going to leave right away, but the Air Force through the delayed enlistment program made me wait nine months. In that time, I said, you know what? It's time for me to leave in a few months. And that's when our relationship grew. So either I was gonna leave with her or without her. I had to, I had already signed up. I asked her, do you wanna leave with me? And she thought at first that I meant if, I, if she wanted to join the Air Force with me. And she said, I can't join the Air Force, I'm not interested. And I said, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about marriage. So it worked out for us. We got married one month before I left for basic training. I would say looking back that the odds were against us for that to be a successful marriage because we weren't boyfriend, girlfriend. We knew each other uh, technically 10 months before we got married, 10 or 11 months. And when that happens, in most cases, it doesn't work out. Now, once we got married, we had our struggles because I went from being an individual who lived by, by myself, and she did too, to now we have a instant family and we're gonna have to make it work one way or the other. And that's exactly what we have done. And I'm not going to say that 20 years later we figured it out because we're still a work in progress like many couples. So we still have to do work in our marriage and now both of our children are grown and out of the house. Our daughter leaves for school, college in just a few weeks. Another part of the military lifestyle is deployments. So how is your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife going to feel about you leaving home for three, six months, or even a year if you have a remote? That is a big stressor. So that's how come the next thing that I wanna talk about in the military lifestyle is, you have to communicate. If you don't get anything about this video, just remember, if you get one thing, is you have to communicate with your other half. Very important. Even myself, I work 76 miles away from home, and I actually stay out here two nights out of the week. So that communication is still ongoing for us. I speak for, uh, for example, from example, in the sense that we have to communicate and adjust our schedule and that trust is there and that constant communication needs to be there because if you want to make it work, 
that's how you make it work is you communicate and you can only do your part. For example, I can only do my part. If I am consistent and I do my part all the time through celebrations and challenges, good for me. My wife has to do that, uh, the same thing. I can only do my part and hope that she does hers. And she can only do her part and hope that I do my part as well. So hopefully you're in a relationship where you're both open-minded and are going to do what it takes for you to be a success, especially when you're married. Because when you're married, remember the vow that we committed to or you will commit to in the future, which is for better or for worse and so forth. So, you know, sticking to our promises that we made to each other. So that is one of the things that I want to talk about. Now, Carlos also asked the question, what about if you want the military lifestyle and your other half isn't on board. Should you give up on your dream of being in the military or not? That's going to be something that you as an individual, whoever's watching this video is going to have to look at the big picture and decide what is more important. In other words, prioritize. But you have to make the decision yourself. And if you have a significant other, communicate with that person as a couple decide what is best for you one of the things that i do not believe in is let's just say back when i enlisted and my girlfriend who was never my girlfriend my my now wife would have said well you know what if you leave it's over well we were at a point where i would have left with or without her and luckily she went with me and has given me 20 great years of her life and vice versa, where we are very blessed to have each other, where we continue to work and communicate with each other. And we learned communication 15 years into our marriage because what we were doing would work sometimes, and that's not good. We learned communication through marriage counseling, and that was a blessing in disguise. Also, if you're gonna get married, one of the things that you have to do is discuss your finances, but also see a counselor up front and he or she is going to say okay let's talk about why you want to get married um, because we're in love yeah that's the honeymoon period that's the easy part but it gets better and that's the good news marriage gets better with time as long as you're on the same page and you put that effort going into so let's say you're in the service right now one good option I'll, I'll leave with, with this is if you're active duty and you're thinking, you know what, uh, maybe the active duty lifestyle isn't for us, but I still want to serve. The best kept secret in my, I've said it over and over is, uh, in my experience is the Air Force Reserve. Now my roommate is guard and it's, you can't even tell the difference. We wear the same uniform. I don't know the differences because there are differences out there, but I just don't know them or the guard, whatever branch you want to. So you can serve part time as well, which is good news. Here's my recommendation, look at the big picture, communicate, prioritize, weigh your options, going back to communication. It's probably the most important thing that relationships in the military will come and go with friends. Sometimes you'll lose friends, but sometimes you'll have friends for life. And more importantly, what about your significant other, your boyfriend, girlfriend, who could be your husband, wife in the future, or if you're already married, your husband or wife today. Think about it. I hope it's been helpful. Have a great day.